In an earlier video, I was discussing about the importance of unity during Ramadan and that we should not allow determining the month of Ramadan, whether we go by moon sighting or calculations, affect the unity of this month. Another area that sometimes creeps into our communities and causes some disunity is the discussion on whether we do 20 rak'ahs of prayer for tarawih or whether we do 8 rak'ahs of prayer for tarawih. The important thing to remember is that what is the purpose of that prayer and where do we get it from? We know that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, initially began praying tarawih in the masjid, but then he went home to pray in fear that people would think that it is an obligation to pray in the masjid, so he prayed in the home. Once that fear was removed, once he had passed away, Umar radiallahu anhu, may Allah be pleased with him, returned to having the tarawih prayers in the masjid and made them 20 rakahs. So now we have a number of examples. We have the prophetic example. We have the example of Umar radiallahu anhu, who we know is by default following the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, follow me and the sunnah of those of the Khulafa al-Rashidin, the rightly guided caliphs, and Umar radiallahu anhu is one of them. So we have the eight, we have the 20. We also realize that tarawih can be as few as two, according to some jurists. So if you pray two rak'ahs of extra prayers after Isha prayer, you've done tarawih. It also does not have to be done with the masjid. So one thing that I would like for us to think about is how are we determining tarawih prayer? Are we determining it by our culture? Are we determining it by what we saw growing up and making that the only way to perform tarawih? I, during my time in West Africa, I saw multiple tarawihs in the same village. There was one in the masjid, there was one in the house next to the masjid, and number, a number of students who had memorized the Qur'an had tarawih prayers in their tents. So in one village, you might have had 20 different groups of people praying and maybe another 40 people praying individually. So you can pray tarawih as an individual, you can pray with it in, uh, uh, in your home, and so we should kind of think outside the box when we come to deciding how we're going to do tarawih. Praying in the masjid is really good because it makes you keep that routine of praying tarawih. According to some of the scholars, if you can maintain that routine and do it in your home, it's actually better to do it in your home because it prevents a person from maybe showing off in the performing of that prayer. Other scholars said, no, it's better to pray it in the masjid. So this difference exists. What I would encourage you to do is look at your personal life, look at your family, and what's going to be best for you. Is it going to be 20 rak'ahs in the masjid? Is it going to be two rak'ahs at home? Is it going to be just you praying by yourself? Is it going to be you and your children? Whatever is going to work for you, whatever is going to be beneficial for your family. So tarawih, we have a lot of options on how we perform it. The main thing is that this difference of how we perform it is in the sunnah, is allowed in the sunnah. We have a number of different examples. You know, sometimes people get very adamant about it only being eight rakahs and they'll say it shouldn't be 20, but at the same time, the example of where that eight came from is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he would do the eight rakahs in his house. So if we're going to follow one methodology, well, don't cut it in half and take a portion of the methodology and then the other, and then criticize other people for the way they're approaching it. If the tarawih is sunnah, it's a recommended practice, it's highly recommended practice, but unity of our community is an obligation. So let's not sacrifice the unity of our obligation for a difference of opinion on how we perform a recommended act. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.